you caught me at such an opportune moment. I didn't see you there. Yeah, so these are the Avar. Or actually, they might be Tevinters, but it's also important to remember that the tribes um, that Andraste was part of uh, was at some point under the control of the Imperium and Andraste's people. I think the original Avars, I swear they have a different name. It's, it's like with an A or something like that. Like an older name for the Avar, because the Avar still exist in this day and age. Uh, but yeah, they, they helped rebel. And which is why Southern Thetas has like just different ruins and hardly any different people. Just a little, just so you know. And look at this. What a great view. What a great view. I should turn off Death Siphon. There's really no point to having it on. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. You talking ish? Nah, it's cool. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Oh, cool. Um, I guess tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just really? on the eastern side of the river. I mean, that's more Germanic The tribes. Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loghain's closed it off until the battle. Ah, this Loghain the, and the Tower of Ishal. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing it. So this is the king's camp. Hitting somebody important. Cool. I just met the king, but where, um... Where is he? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. So the circle of mage eyes here? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk. This is your, like, even. who's who if you don't know who anybody is. Heard of Templar. Depending on your origin. Can't miss it. Is that dogs barking? Oh. What is this? The king has his I just skipped it. In the west side I guess it froze up. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Dang. All right, I gotta go. Good luck to you, then. Ostagar. Hey, it's mages. I'm sorry, Hello. But the mages must not be interrupted. What are they doing? The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the fade. Looks like they're having a party. What are they doing? Perhaps they're scouting for Darkspawn. I don't know, and don't ask. That is somewhat reasonable. They are not to be disturbed. Not even by Grey Wardens. Alright, I'll go somewhere else. I'm a mage now. Can't do anything. This place is great. We stand here in this, this is such, like, an MMO area. Like, it's just big enough where everybody could be running around. Tall structures. These people are scared they're gonna die, which that's a reasonable fear. But let's meet this person. Hello. What do we have here? I heard the new Grey Warden recruit was from the Circle. I don't we heard right. We've met, but I've certainly heard a lot about your talent. My name is Wynne, and I congratulate you on your harrowing, marvelous Thanks. work. The fate is. I'm glad you didn't hear about the Jowan thing. Honestly, it was pretty terrifying. I thought the same. It's good you can admit that. So, a Grey Warden fighting alongside the King. Not too shabby for someone just out of apprenticeship. Well, you know, the King seems to think the battle's gonna go okay. Uh, but I hope I don't disappoint anybody. <laughs> Child, you have been taught well. Use what you know and have faith in yourself. Maybe and don't die. It's been pivotal in the fight against the Darkspawn. Perhaps you'll be the one to turn the tide this time. Cool. Have you faced Darkspawn? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? I think there's like a lore entry you can get. Or like a, 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 like a certain cunning check or something like that. What does the Fade have to do with anything? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body... Whether it's to dream or to die. This is your fade tutorial if you're not a mage. The realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, 
others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Ooh. I've heard that. Didn't something bad happen there? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Deventer Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint sin. transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. So, uh... Important to note, we did talk about the Black City in Part 2. And how humanity or at least at least a group of Tevinter Magisters invaded it and God got upset and left God's punishment in this universe is that he made the Darkspawn appear and turned humans into Darkspawn that's the mythos on it but is that true it may be allegory meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering or it may be true it is as good an explanation as any for now I guess so something to think about yes Occasionally, it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. All right, fair enough. Stand beside the maker. Go with our blessing, for you shall not be... But also remember, friends, when you climb to the highest rope, remember those do an elbow drop. Those who have yet to or, if possible, a German suplex your opponent into an Azuna drop. Isn't that right, my lady? Any suplex will do, really. You there, you look like you could do a good suplex. <laughs> what you I saying? do not have time to speak at present, eh, thank whatever. you. Don't forget what I said about suplex. Alright, suplex city. Where's Jory? Oh, he's over here. I'm not mm. here. Hello. This isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Hello. Are you the new warden? I could use some. I am. What's the problem? This is a Mabari, smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed Darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Oh. Why, can I do this? You're a Grey Warden, or soon will be. All Wardens are immune to the Darkspawn taint. The most you have to worry about is some tooth marks. That's true, I guess. How smart is the dog again? Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. Most valuable Ooh, dogs like in the world. Babysit my kids. Trouble is, they generally imprint to one master. Reimprinting them is very difficult. But without the medicine, re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? Because I'll be dead. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Hello. The dog looks up at you respectfully, bowing down from his aggressive stance. You can see intelligence in his eyes, as well as a great deal of pain. This animal is very ill. Let's put the muzzle on the dog. The bar grows, growls weakly, but does not challenge you. After you are done, he whimpers plaintively. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Maybe, why? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood red center. Hmm. Where can I find it exactly? It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. Okay. I'll see if I can find one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Doggy, 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 doggy. All right. Hear the prayers of your son. How daughter. do you do? How's it going, dude? What's going on here? So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. Damn it. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What did you think I would be? Not an elf. Yep, here you are. The name's Dabbit. Here I am. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. What do you know about it? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Oh. 
the wilds? We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari wilds here, miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> scary place. Hmm. Why is it so scary? Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess well, that's mostly the cocaine, but yes, the like secrets. We have a choice. They're forcing you to be here? I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Cool. Cool. Cool beans. Duncan's over there somewhere. I'm stuck. All right, there you go. Where's Jory? Oh, what's your name? Uh, Me? Oh, him. It, it's Pick, sir. Where's Jory? Tell Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. I like this dog. This dog is cool. Right away, sir. Goodbye. Make his breath. Another elf. What do you want? Ooh. Uh. Hmm. Just wanted to talk. Make it quick. We're busy. You guys don't look like the other soldiers, and those dogs won't shut up. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. What is an Ash Warrior? Our training. Are you like Kratos from God of War? The dwarves. Is that your family on your bottle? Rage the dwarves. That body. It's an old tale. Oh. Can I hear the story? I am no bard, but I will do my best. Matthias was a clan tribesman. Some said he was too short to be a warrior, but he was strong and fierce. His chieftain sent him to the dwarves of Orzammar to negotiate. But so he wasn't a dwarf. Where he fell in love with the king's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe. She taught Matthias to use the dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. Matthias then taught this to the clan who made him their chieftain. Cool. So what happened to him? Matthias' prowess earned him the love of Morrigana, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skya oh, no. learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. Matthias was grieved. He sent Morrigan away, but this only vexed her and began a long war between their tribes. In the end, Matthias slew Morrigan in single combat. However, Dang. the wounds were great, and he perished when the rage ended. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day and gave Matthias an honored burial in the mountains. And we live by his teachings even today. What happened to Skya? It is said that before the final battle, she returned to Luthias and gave him a shirt of dwarven chain, along with a final night of passion. Then she was Dang. gone forever. If she lived on in Orzammar, only the dwarven folk could say for certain. Hey, that's cool. It was an honor. So what do you guys do? We harness the rage inside us, nurture it. The berserkers. And draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarven discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life. Is that yours right there? Or me with his. The one digging in the ground? Oh, they paint their dogs because, um, well, let, just let them say it. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies, but the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with caddis. Which overpowers the blood and also paints our hounds so they know we are the same. Neato. Alright, I'm gonna leave. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. So I wonder who they're with exactly. Where is. I remember where Jory is now. I totally forgot. There's Dabith. Hey, Dabith. Dabith. I did a little dab to show that his name is Dabith. This is a lock, right? Yeah, I can't open this. Sucks. Long way up. Oh, I'm going to look for Jory. Dang it. Dang it, Jory. He's over here somewhere, I think. Hello, ma'am. I do not have time to speak at present. Thank you. Don't thank me. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. There you are. Find favor in the maker's eye. Greetings. So you must be the third recruit we've heard about. I'm Ren. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arlaemon. That's cool. To where elves could join the Grey Wardens. 
those camped in the valley are all human. Is that okay? No, clearly the Grey Wardens pick their recruits on their merits. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? I guess so. You're not that smart, are you? I'm curious about the ritual. As am I. Has anyone told you about it? Davis said he we might be going into the wilds. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. What tests were there to begin with? Finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. I also like that if you pick the mage origin, then Duncan has basically recruited one of each class, a warrior, Jory, a rogue, Davith, and a mage. Um, it's just, I like to fill in the details like that. Not that you need to do that for your own canon, it could be anything, obviously. Um, <laughs> we'll talk to some of the more of these people in a second. I just want to go over here. I think, was there something over here? Like elf food or something like that? There's a chest. I don't think I can open it though. I can't. I'll ask Davith maybe. I'm sorry, but there's so much to do before the battle. I must attend to my duties or I Oof, guess... not the switch. <laughs> I'll get the Nintendo Switch. Hello, I should save. It's a good save noise. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. That's all very unnecessary. Fool. Don't call me a fool. You know, one good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. Yeah. I know what you mean. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, uh, I love we you, met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. I am, actually. And here I thought I'd been yelled at by every mage in camp. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from the Circle of Magi. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. How'd you recognize me? Duncan sent word. He spoke quite highly of you. Oh, Allow thanks. me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden, though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Cool. It's nice to meet you. My name's Rand. Right. That was the name. So I'm curious. Have you ever no, actually encountered Darkspawn not. before? I have not. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. By the way, what's with that argument? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Oh, that would be awkward. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. That's a weird thing to pick up on. Picked right up on that. Also, how would anyone know you're a Templar? I guess you can kind of feel it on the magic. We're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. Dang. Mm. Well, it, hey, it's nice to meet you, man. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Why am I leading? What's up with that? Joining the Grey Wardens. Let's go places, you and me. You coming? Alright. Let's see, uh, can I give Alistair anything? Because he'll be with us for a while. Uh, not quite. Blight blood eventually, but that's a high strength requirement. Uh, battle dress? No, it's not for him. Uh, 
dexterity, armor, stamina, regen, plus 50 stamina. That doesn't say magic, so it's probably not for me. Mark of Vigilance, for sure. Because that's basically a Templar thing. Runic of Worry token is really funny. He's fascinated by arcane imagery. Something not expect unexpected of a Grey Warden. It's a really long way of saying expected. Cunning, monetary gain, Embry of many pockets. Embry's many pockets. Oh, this is an Elven Mage. Wow. Died of a poison. Here, you can have this. You'll do great. Don't worry about it. Uh, Band of Fire. That's something else I really want to give you. We'll move on afterwards. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I have to give you. I like a shield. It reminds me of Solaire. I love Solaire. Cool. All right. Is this a uh, locked? Up? Dang it. I gotta talk to Davith. He doesn't level up, but I gotta see if he has any skills. Might be useful at least. All right. Hello. Welcome, young man. Hey, you're a tranquil mage, right? Yes. And you are a mage of the circle. You must be familiar with the tranquil who serve there. I yeah. create and oversee the enchantment of weapons and armor for the king's forces. He That's very fascinating. It's a time-consuming process, but in... What is en enchantment? The tranquil... It's just applying magical abilities to stuff. Runes. You can put lightning or the plus 10 strength or whatever. I want this chest. That course of action. He won't let me have it, though. Hello, Quartermaster. You there, Elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? Um... Because I'm a Grey Warden? You're... Oh, yes, of course. I... Uh, please, forgive my rudeness. So there are so racism. many Elves running about, and I've been waiting for... Oh, it's simply been so hectic. I never thought... But yeah. please, pardon my terrible manners. I, I am just the quartermaster, a simple man, no one special. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Did you come for some supplies, perhaps? What kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, I gotta pay. Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also what? have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. Alright, let's see your other as stuff. As long as you keep it quiet. Don't tell me what to keep quiet. It's such a bunch of cool stuff. Some, some not bad stuff. I probably want this, to be honest. It's cost five, though. Oh, let's sell this. So this is a good weapon. You got this, you got this from the Omgroff DLC. But what's better about it is that you get 340 gold. So now we have 340 gold. I'm gonna sell some of these two. We don't need this. That's fine. Uh, Enchanter's footing. Uh, it's, a, it's a mage. Get more defense. Should probably buy something like that soon. Uh, injury kits. I don't need rock. I don't need this. I don't need that. Oopsie daisy. Uh, let's see here. We're pretty good on items. I don't really need to buy anything extra. I'll buy a couple injury kits just to be safe. Uh, I don't need any of this that I really want. Not really. No, no, this is really good. Uh, this is junk. Buy back. Uh, should I get those boots? They are made for walking. And that's just what I'll do. Uh, I probably will get this. Yeah. Just a lot more damage and resistances and stuff, so I'll, I'll buy it. No kite shield, no. Now. Should I get this? I don't know. Because I already have, um, Fade Striders, which is plus one magic. Uh, this is 0.51, 0 0.50. Plus one armor, chance to dodge attacks. Chance. All right, that's, yeah, it's fine to leave alone. Sell one of these. Sell some boots. All right. Uh, no one wants these apprentice robes, and no one wants these because they're dumb looking. All right, cool. 
Oh, I have junk. Do I have all my junk sold? I do. Great. Cool. Thank you. Hey, much cooler. I like that a lot. And I'll put the Fade Striders on probably later. For now, I might as well keep it for myself. Quite honestly. Can I have your regular inventory now? Is there something? Uh, nothing crazy cool. Uh, lesser injury kit, yeah. Let's take these so I can make them myself. Uh, let's buy a handful of flasks in case I want to craft. Probably won't, but just to have some on me. An acid flask, yep. yep. I won't ever run out of money. That legitimately won't be a problem. Oh, backpack, yes. Oh, I can sell this too. Yeah, sell this. Do I want some of these? I might need these for quests later. I don't remember what quest exactly, but. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Uh, there's a lady up here I want to talk to. That's not a lady. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. Oh. Why do you say that? I saw them. We're gonna die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Oh. Is he okay? Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. You... You can feel it, can't you? They taint the land. Turn it... Black and yeah, he's just scared, dude. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread like caterpillars covering a tree. Jeez. They'll swallow us whole. Jeez, dude. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for talking. Thanks for chatting me up. Oh, wait. Before we leave, I almost forgot it. I'm shaken with anticipation. He's over here somewhere. Not there. Follow me, Alistair. Be there in a jiffy. The king's god! Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Tell me about the king. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? Hmm, I guess we'll see. That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny the Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. The queen? She's the Terran's daughter. Oh, so the king's married to Logan's daughter. She did, or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. All right, well, I'll leave As then. you wish. Here's the chance. You approach the tent of Tern Loghain. State your business. Jeez, much more business-like. Tell me about the, the Tern, the Learn. Loghain. He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? Yeah, he's the ultimate success story. A nobleman, just like that. A commoner fighting in the Revolutionary War to free his country. He wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Not so much revolutionary, but you get the idea. Is he inside? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. You can tell me a little bit about him, right? Well, I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the king have been arguing for days. The Terran's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Terran speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Terran Logan tells him. Without the Terran, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. I guess that's true. Hey, can I meet him? Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're... Oh, man, there he is. Grey Warden, I assume. Uh, not a Grey Warden yet, but yeah. You impressed his majesty, nonetheless. Could not contain his excitement over your meeting. Kalen's wow. fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. 
Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Well, I know that. I had heard that. Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. That's true. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. I hear you're from the Circle of Magi. First Enchanter spoke highly of you. A great achievement for one so young. Thanks. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? No idea yet. They haven't told me. If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. Oh. And if he doesn't? Then simply pray. Yikes. There is some drama happening in there. So yes, uh, Kalen's father is Merrick Theron, who uh, derives from the bloodline of basically this world's King Arthur. Look carefully. In which they um, fought for their freedom against a, against a uh, French empire. We'll call them French. They're not French, but they sound French. They're called the Orlesians. And they have French accents, so they're basically French. You know? Ooh, a sack. A short bow. Instead of leather gloves. Do I have getting gloves on, actually? I don't think I do. I don't. I'm gonna put some gloves on, I guess. So art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker? Hello. All before me is darkness. No, you're just praying. That's cool, you're praying. Hello. Hello. I I'm sorry, is there something you needed? Nice one, Doc. Are you the new Grey Warden recruit? I, I was just walking by when I heard. It must be exciting to be so important. Wait, you weren't here to tell me I'm in trouble, are you? No, not that I know of. Oh, that's a relief. I'm one of the King's servants, which means I run messages around and make deliveries all day long. If you fall behind, you get the switch from the Quartermaster. Oh, you got a Nintendo Switch? Alice, there are far more I hope it's the new Animal Crossing one. I better go. If the Quartermaster sees me chatting, he'll think I'm being lazy and that'll be my hide. But it was nice talking to someone. It's nice talking to you too. Bye. What a nice guy. But already you can kind of see how everyone kind of interacts with each other. The Chantry doesn't like when mages are just hanging around, doing nothing. Uh, people are pretty... disregard elves a lot. Our two, our two new companions basically were like, you're an elf? That's... I didn't expect that. Even the elf is like, wow, you're really an elf. That's cool. And, and even that guy was like, you the elf. And that guy was like, you the elf. It's like a lot, it's stuff like that. With a dwarf, you don't get as much of it. The dwarf is just kind of like, oh, you're a dwarf. That's neat. <laughs> Chew. Excusez-moi. Voulez-vous vous chez avec toi? Duncan. You found Alistair, did you? Good. Donuts. I assume you're ready to begin preparations. Yeah, more or less. Of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. Stop messing around, Alistair. More ammunition again. We have a job to do. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then. Since you're all here, we can begin. Bonfire party! We'll be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two That's tests. not a party. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. Oh, okay. So if I kill the other two, I only need one for me, right? What's the blood for? For the joining itself. I'll explain more once you've returned. Alright. So what's the second thing we do? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such rooms. It's basically a test for us. They could go and get it, it recently come to themselves, but they want us to prove ourselves. ...have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Alright, what kind of scrolls are there? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities, with so many having forgotten their commitments to us. So basically it's a paper set that says, hey, these are the receipts you said you would help us. So what if they're not there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. 
A great many things were assumed that have not held true. Yeah. Plus, there were formalities, like you said. So is this for our joining too? No, but the effort must be made. I have. And we don't have time to do it. You are up to the task. So you guys should do it. So how do we find it? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Sounds good. Archive and three vials of blood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when I'm you return. Sure. All right, everybody. Alistair, I need to oh, get this shoot. Quiet. The sooner you get this done, the better. A few moments later. Hey, Alistair. Yes? Tell me a little about yourself. Uh, as I said, I, totally I forgot was to do this. trained as a Templar before Duncan recruited me about six months ago. Chantry raised me. And becoming a Templar was a decision made for me a long time ago. Duncan saw I wasn't happy and figured my training against mages could double for fighting Darkspawn. Now... Oh, so you didn't want to be a Templar, so here you are. Crazy again. The Grand Cleric wouldn't have let me go if Duncan never forced the issue. I'd always be grateful to him. That's cool. You never want to join the Chantry? It just wasn't for me. I believe in the Maker well enough, but I never wanted to devote my life to the Chantry. You really like Duncan? I spent years in that Chantry, hopelessly resigned to my fate. Duncan was the first person who cared what I wanted. He risked a lot of trouble with the Grand Cleric to help me. I got some questions, actually. What about? Great Wardens. So I imagine. What would you like to know? What makes you all so special? The Grey Wardens are warriors without equal. Darkspawn threatened to destroy the world four times over. Each time, the Grey Wardens led mankind to victory. Nobody knows more about Darkspawn, and nobody's better equipped to deal with them. You'll see. Trust me. So they're like knights, heroes. I don't know if I'd go that far. Duncan says the Grey Wardens do whatever is necessary to protect mankind from Darkspawn. That means some pretty extreme things. Yeah, we have carte blanche to do whatever we want, as long as it gets the job done. Which is helps full for our character's morality. I'm not sure I really know anything about Grey Wardens. Well, let's see. Surely you've heard of Weissalp's Fortress? The Great Airy carved into the White Cliffs far off in the Anderfels? That's where the Grey Wardens once kept their griffins. The griffins cool. died out, however, and our oh, numbers cool. have dwindled since the last blight. There's only a handful left in Ferelden. A few more in other nations. So there's a prequel novel that talks about why the wardens were banished and how they came in. Basically, they got involved in a civil war in this country at some point, and they were on the losing side. We'll learn more about it in actually one of the DLCs. But they got kicked out, and the Kaelin's father, Merrick, was convinced to help bring them back in. So where are all the Red Wardens now? The others are camped with the Red soldiers in the valley. The king's given us a position of honor at the vanguard. That's stupid. Numbers. We're better as a strike force Kaelin to fight Darkspawn at their at right their weakest. With us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. I guess so. So you guys have the right to just recruit anybody? King Marek, Kaelin's father, reaffirmed the power the Grey Wardens were given during the Blights. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. Best not to let that happen again. So again, carte blanche to say, hey, you can recruit whoever you want, but the more you do it, like if you recruit a king's son without the king's permission and ruin that bloodline from ever joining back into the royalty, you're like, hey, don't do that. That's messed up. That You're, you're taking our people that we need. Take this prisoner. I don't care. You want to ask me about something else? What's up with the Blight? Of course. So what is it? What is a Blight? Where did Darkspawn come from? You want the Chantry's version or the truth? They're not the same thing? <laughs> they seldom are. Yeah, I like this guy. I like the truth. The truth is we don't really know. They come up from the ground. And that's as far as we've gotten. Dang. So... The first Blight, that's in the Chantry version. Yes, and it nearly wiped us out. When defeated, the Darkspawn flee back underground and seek out another old god to taint, thus bringing another blight. Mm. So there's an, there's an archdemon for this blight. So they, they find an old god in the form of a dragon, 
uh, corrupt it, and it leads them, as a result, to fight the Blight. So where's the Archdemon now? We haven't seen it yet. People are beginning to think this is just an unusually large Darkspawn raid without an Archdemon to unify them. But seriously, the Archdemon could be in the wilds or underground. It could be hiding. Just because it hasn't shown itself doesn't that's true. mean it isn't out there. So yeah, that's true. Um, it's also important to know, I think only two of the Origins actually fight Darkspawn in their Origins. I think it's the Dwarf Noble and the Dalish Elf. It's funny. So you actually get a chance to meet them before now. So why not just kill them when they're all underground? They've controlled the deep roads ever since they defeated the Dwarven Kingdoms. Even if we invaded, we can only chase them so far. And there's only so many of us, really. So what exactly is an Archdemon? The old gods were dragons. So the stories say. Big ones. Intelligent. This is a big dragon. The Tevinta Empire had big statues of them. Each dragon had a name and a place in the cosmos. It's all very intricate. The Archdemons may not be the old gods, but they're definitely dragons. And evil. So what's up with being, people being so skeptical? What is wrong with my mouth? The I Great talk for a living. killed so many Darkspawn by the end of the last blight. People decided they were gone for good. Oh. I had other questions about the blight. Of course. So how do you defeat a blight? We chop off the snake's head. It's the only way. According to texts, the most famous Grey Warden leader, Garahel, killed the Archdemon Underal in personal combat at the Battle of Aesley to end the last blight. Without the Archdemon to command them, the Darkspawn flee back underground. Okay. So how did anybody... How did anybody even know about this blight? What is wrong with me? The Grey Wardens keep watch. We feel the dark spawn when they come you'll understand after the joining if you s well you'll understand not if i what huh not to notice when dark spawn pour out of the wilds and taint everything around them just a guess how many dark spawn are out there thousands tens of thousands they've had centuries to build up a lot is the answer okay you want to ask me about something else what about Duncan? Tell me about that guy. Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man. A good judge of character. I owe him a lot. What about you? What do you think of him? I actually owe him my life, too. That sounds familiar. He's done the best he can with what little he has. And that includes me, I guess. You want to ask me about something else? You want to ask me about something else? The ritual. I wish I could tell you more. Maybe ask me again after Duncan speaks to you about it. You want to ask, you want to ask me about, about something else? The battle. The one tomorrow. I'll tell you. It's Tan Loghain we should be looking to win it, not the king. He's the smart guy. He just wants his place in history. But Tan is planning the strategy. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. I guess I... So what am I going to be doing? Favors us great Honestly. Ways. But I know who's keeping the lid on the pot. Good point. What am I going to be doing? You know, that's a good question. The other Grey Wardens are riding into battle with the King. I don't know if you'll be with them. Oh. So why is it happening here? We're at the edge of the Korkari Wilds. The Eye of the Blight Storm, right where the Horde will be coming. Ostagar itself is an excellent defensive position. The Wilders were pushed back from here time and again in ancient days. All right, what are the odds of us actually winning, by the way? Just be straight with me. I'm sure Tan Loghain has the battle planned to the last detail. Still, no Blight has ever been defeated with so little cost. And what happens if, let's say, this battle doesn't go well? If we don't break the Horde here, Duncan says it will spread until it engulfs all of Ferelden. Then it will take an alliance of nations to fight it. Which would be bad. Neither the king nor the Terran really seems to believe this is a real blight, however. All right, well, thanks. You want to ask me about something? I else? don't, actually. I'm good. Then let's get a move. And we got a little Alistair approves. We'll talk more about the approval system when we have more party members, but know that for now, there's no morality. There's companion likability. We'll go more into it in detail. And now, I'm just going to skip all this. She Yep. We already heard it you on camera. We'll be heading into the Kokari Wilds. What do we need the blood for? Itself. What's the second task? 
It has recently come to our attention. Scrolls? They were once considered a What if they're not there? It was assumed that we would Do I gotta do it? Effort must be. How do I find it? Alright, I'm I'm good. Then may the Make her watch over me, sweet. What's up guys? Oh, I gotta talk to them too. I hate you. Wait, can you open things? Can you be not useless? Gun. He does, oh my goodness. I totally forgot. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go around running up, opening some chests. Oh, I gotta talk to this guy. I forgot it. Hello. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you I'm gonna have to make these just under an hour long for episodes. You haven't been sentenced. Yeah, I'm gonna try and keep these under an hour if I can. Like in a cage until Maybe just make them two parts. It's time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. Out. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. So why are you in there? I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Yeah. What did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you gonna think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. What were you doing sneaking around? Oh, I would have deserted eventually. Just not then. I was stealing, not sneaking out of the camp. I got one of those wizards drunk and took his key. It belongs to a chest they got here, full of magical treasures. In fact, I still have it. I can't use it from here, but I trade you for some food and water. They didn't find it? I swallowed it. But it's uh, come back into my possession since then, so to speak. Gross. I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw. All right. Hey guys. Excuse me, sir. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. I had a chat with him actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. He asked for some food and water. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Listen, dude, he's gonna die. Just give him something. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. That's fair. Here's some food. So? Brought me some food, have you? Here's some food. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Huh. Considering where that came from. Thanks, Alistair. And Alistair likes me. Also, they're gonna kill this guy. I feel bad. <laughs> I mean, he would have deserted, but I guess that's the way it goes. So you can't actually open it now because he's guarding it still? I'm gonna have to really think about these episodes because now I've had two episodes in a row that are about 50 minutes long. But the, the, this game is kind of long, is the thing. I don't want to have to keep chopping it up into parts where nothing happens. I'll, mm, we'll see, we'll see. I, I meant, I'm gonna try and keep it more to 40 minutes if I can. Some of the early episodes were 30, so we'll, we'll figure it out. For now though, we're gonna try, we're gonna try and tackle it like sections at a time. So this camp was a section, the next part will be a section, you know, we'll, we'll try to do it like that if we can. Uh, we'll, we'll figure this out. But until then, see you guys next time. Bye.